Parsha's bow. God said to Moshe, come to Pharaoh, for I've hardened his heart. Zurich, the Barnsdorf Hotel, 2 a.m. in the morning. Earlier that day, world-famous philanthropist Gavriel Manreich had signed a deal months in the making that would net his property development company a cool hundred million dollars. Now, after a deal like that, you can go to bed feeling that you had a, a good day. He wasn't really asleep, and at 2 a.m., he was sure he heard a gentle knocking on the door, loud enough for only someone still awake to hear. Pulling on his dressing gown, Gavriel made his way to the door, and opening it, he was somewhat surprised to see the holy face of the Nizhvorna Rebbe smiling at him. Gavriel, I wanted to wish you Mazel Tov. I just heard you pulled off an amazing deal. May it be with much Hatzlacha and Bracha. Ever the gentleman, Gavriel invited the Rebbe into his suite. Would the Rebbe join me for a Lachaim? he inquired. Just a large one, replied the Rebbe. Gavriel ushered the Rebbe into a large plush armchair, and patiently he listened to a sad tale as the Rebbe told of the finances of his yeshiva's institutions, how many families had plummeted below the poverty line and were spiraling into unpayable and ever-increasing debt. After Gavriel heard the Rebbe out, he gave him an extraordinary generous check. Generous even by Manrich tzedakah giving standards. As he handed the check to the Rebbe, he said, I'm happy to help the Rebbe at any time, but could I ask the Rebbe a question? Couldn't this have waited till the morning? The Rebbe replied, Right now, Gavriel, you see this money as profit. Tomorrow, it will already have become capital. People don't like eating into capital, even for tzedakah. Pharaoh suffered from terminal gratitude amnesia. He enslaved the Jewish people, conveniently forgetting that it was Yosef, the Jew, who saved Egypt and made it the most powerful empire the world had yet seen. By his own evil stubbornness, he ignored the lessons of seven mind-blowing and body-shaking plagues, with the result that God hardened his heart and took away the gift of his freedom of choice. None of us are immune from gratitude amnesia. The human mind is a wonderfully flexible organ. It's all too easy to think that what we own is our own capital. It's not. Every penny we have is no more than a windfall than the one who causes the wind to blow and the rain to fall.